Good afternoon again, everyone. Thanks for joining us. We are here to talk about Give Back Tahoe and particularly all the basics, things that you need to know to get started for the campaign this year. My name is Bethany. I work with Mighty Cause. Mighty Cause, as you'll see, I'll share a little bit more information on the next slide, is the technology platform partner for Give Back Tahoe. So what we're really gonna cover today is all that you need to know to really navigate the platform, customize your page so that it's up and running for a successful Give Back Tahoe campaign. I'll also take a moment to mention that we do have Ashley Cooper joining us from the Tahoe Truckee Community Foundation, and we'll be hearing from her in just a moment on a few key details related to this year's event. As I mentioned, Mighty Cause is the technology platform partner that is working with the Tahoe Truckee Community Foundation to help support this year's event. The Mighty, Mighty Cause has been around since 2006. We've helped all kinds of nonprofits raise millions of dollars, and we've uh, been working with giving events in particular since uh, right back when we first started. So many years of supporting these specific giving event campaigns like Give Back Tahoe, which are so exciting for the communities they're supporting, as well as the nonprofits participating in those. And we are a full service nonprofit software provider, um, year round tools for fundraising and volunteer management, many of which we will see as we dig into today's training. And so with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Ashley to get us started with a few uh, key details about Give Back Tahoe. Hello, everyone. Thank you for being able to attend today's webinar and for registering on this new platform. I know it's a departure for those of you who have participated in Give Back Tahoe, the giving season in the past. So I really appreciate that you um, are on board again. And of course, we're hoping to have an even better season than we have up to now um, and last year was our best to date. Last year we raised $501,820 um, across 60 nonprofits and fundraising is absolutely part of our goals but more so we are leading the Give Back Tahoe giving season because about six years ago our nonprofits um, reported to the foundation that we didn't have that many year-end fundraising strategists in our midst in our small local nonprofit community um, and that a lot of people didn't have the capacity to build those campaigns out and so with Giving Tuesday the International Day of Giving really taking steam at that point Tahoe Truckee Community Foundation and Sierra Sun was our partner back then, um, decided to lead the charge for a giving season in order to capture the attention of a lot of our second homeowners and vacationers who are important donors to all of our causes, thinking that just one day wouldn't be enough. Um, and I suppose I should back up just a little bit and in the case that anyone here isn't familiar with Tahoe Truckee Community Foundation, um, our, our service area is North Tahoe, and Truckee um, from Donner Summit almost to Floriston and um, kind of the state line and Klein Village line over to West Shore and our mission is to connect people and opportunities to generate resources and build a more caring creative and effective community so Give Back Tahoe is really in line with our mission of connecting our local nonprofits with a broader supporter base whether those people end up being volunteers through the volunteer portal or end up being donors employees um, or just advocates and as bethany will go over either today or the next webinar there's a whole other way for your supporters to support you with peer-to-peer -peer fundraising um, so we've seen a lot of success with building capacity and raising money. The year-round volunteer module is also different, which I'm really excited about because it puts a lot more of the power in your hands. Um, and at the, at the same time, TTCF raises money through our donors to offer challenge grants to our nonprofits and their donors for really putting forth exemplary efforts 
in fundraising on certain days and in certain ways. Um, do you want to go to the next slide? Yeah. Yep. I think that's good. I guess, um, yeah, so here you can see the way the campaign has grown. In the first year, it was 124,000, and then every year we've increased those dollars. Um, last year, seven nonprofits raised more than $20,000 each, which is the most anyone's raised, and um, our nonprofits also, also leveraged almost $100,000 in matching grants. And Bethany will speak to how to secure matching grants. And it's really an amazing thing when you can tell a potential donor or existing donor that when they donate, they are unlocking for every dollar another $2 or another $3. And the challenge grants just provide a really op easy opportunity for an ask so that those of us who feel less comfortable reaching out and asking for money have a really tangible opportunity for someone to give and know they're making an even bigger impact than they normally would. So it's there's an urgency there. Um, the reason we switched to Mighty Cause um, as a giving platform, just for, for transparency across the sector, I believe, um, foundations have traditionally hosted giving days. It takes a lot of resources, a lot of staff time. Obviously, I've always been in really close contact with all of the leaders of this campaign for your nonprofits. And we're doing our own fundraising for challenge grants and marketing and communications. And it gets to be really intensive on the foundations themselves. And this year, what we saw was the platforms like Mighty Cause, um, taking over a lot of kind of the heavy lifting. So rather than nonprofits reaching out to each foundation's point person for every question, these platforms are offering a customer service side where they can help our nonprofits build out their pages and answer any of the questions that they have. And that's what they're doing with their entire workday. So that is a huge benefit. The other thing, is that you can see that you have so many more capabilities these days with the platforms. In the past, you could add links to your social media. You could put your mission or the need you wanted to express and some contact people. It was really, really bare bones. And now you have so many opportunities to build out a page that really tells the story of your organization, including video. So you can include the PSAs that we recorded last year. Um, and a lot of other features that Bethany's much, much better at speaking to. And so I just wanted to give you guys a little insight into why the switch over and, and how that will in the long run build your capacity even more so, so that you're not just doing the same campaign over and over again in a cycle, but instead you're continuously growing upon your skill set and getting better and better um, at your end fundraising. Um, and I think that's all I had, unless there's some questions around um, TTCF side of things. For example, we will not be having a printed guide for the second year in a row. Um, and yeah, if there's any questions, I'm happy to answer them. And again, this is Ashley Cooper with TTCF. And I'm the communications manager and lead for the Give Back Tahoe campaign. Thanks, Ashley. I think that's great. I don't see any questions right now, but uh, as I mentioned before, people can feel free to type questions in as they come up throughout the presentation. And then at the end, if there's a question that's really more suited to TTCF, I'll send that over your way and I'll handle uh, the majority of questions, you know, as they relate to the features and functionality. Okay, thank you. All right, great. Well, thanks for that information. Um, and now we'll kind of transition back to, to really what, uh, what Ashley alluded to is all the features and functionality in your page. Um, that's something that Mighty Cause is very proud of the capabilities that we give to partner nonprofits to really tell a powerful story, to really effectively and efficiently manage their fundraising efforts, to spend more time doing those high value activities like engaging with donors, 
uh, and, uh, and let the platform really support you in other ways. And so with all of those new features and functionality that you have access to, we wanted to make sure we walked through each of those to make sure that you all have all the information you need to know how to add a video to your page or what are the key features that you need to have access to how do you access a donations report all of those most important things that are going to help you have a successful campaign this year and uh, just one note as ashley mentioned before i go forward mighty cause does have a full-time customer support team that is here to help you so at any time you're going through um, planning your campaign, putting your page together, uh, uploading your logo, whatever it might be, any questions that you have, you can feel free to email them to support at mightycause.com. And our customer support team would be happy to assist you, walk you through the problem. So the very first thing that everybody has to do is of course, register to be a part of the Give Back Tahoe event. So most organizations have already completed their registration. If you have not done so, please go ahead and do so ASAP. Um, I'll let Ashley chime in uh, if she wants in terms of uh, deadline on registration, but certainly the sooner the better to register your organization to give you all the time that you need to get your page up and running, your campaign up and running. It's just a short form uh, to give the community foundation the information that they need and to allow us to give you access to your organization's page on the platform so that you can begin uh, your efforts to update the page. And something to keep in mind is that you can have multiple people from your organization with admin access to your page. So once one person registers and has access to your page, that individual will be able to either add new or remove additional administrators. If, for example, you need to add your board member or um, a finance person to have access to the information as well, you can manage that right in your settings. And I'll note when we get later to that in the dashboard where you can find that tool in particular. So after you've registered and you're given access to your page, you will uh, sign in at givebacktahoe.org and you'll see up in the upper right hand corner of the screen your user profile menu and from there when you hover over that you'll see a dashboard with the name of the nonprofit that you have access to manage clicking on that dashboard will open up this screen for you and this is really your your hub to manage all of your activity on the platform. So we'll go over just a very quick rundown of the key things you'll have access to this to on this dashboard, and then dig in deeper to some of the more important features and functionality so that you know how and where to, um, to focus your efforts. So first you'll see a home screen. That's what you're seeing right here. Just some key metrics and a to-do list. Next down the dashboard will be your profile. Uh, this is a page that we'll spend a lot of time on today. This is the organization page that you will customize, personalize, add photos and videos. This is the link that you'll be sharing with your donors to make their donations for Give Back Tahoe. Next down the dashboard, you'll see a donations screen with a little dollar sign icon. This is where you'll have the opportunity to access donation data, your donation reports, and you'll have some opportunity to customize that uh, donation experience. Next down the dashboard is your call to action icon, a megaphone icon. This is where you will post and manage any volunteer opportunities that you uh, have for your organization. And finally, the last item down on your dashboard will be the settings page. This is where you can manage the overall settings for your organizations. One of the most important things here being the ability to add and remove those additional admins, as I mentioned already. So just your quick overview, and now we will dig deeper into each of the key pieces of this dashboard. So I mentioned, of course, the profile page. This is your organization page. This is really yours to customize, tell a powerful, visual, dynamic story to your donors about why they should make their gift. Why should they support your organization and your campaign during the Give Back Tahoe giving season? 
What is it that you're raising funds for? What kind of impact do you have in the community? You've got lots of flexibility to really make this page work for you and tell a powerful story. And now we'll dig into how you actually do that. So the first thing that you'll have access to right at the very top of the page is the ability to edit your theme. And this is a handful of items that allow you to design a really nice looking, visually looking page without needing to be a website developer or a graphic designer. Really easy to use tools from uploading your logo. We always recommend a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. That's gonna fit well within that square box. If you're having any trouble finding a one-to-one -one aspect ratio for your logo, look to see what you might be using on your organization's Facebook page or Twitter account. Uh, those are also restricted to one-to-one, -to -one, so that's a great place to borrow. Um, after you upload your logo, the next important thing to do here to really uh, set this theme is to upload a background image. So you'll see right from that pencil icon we have on the screen, you have the ability to upload an image. You can upload an image from Dropbox, your computer, Facebook, Instagram, tons of places you can pull an image to upload it from. You can also choose an image from our gallery if you don't have an image or you're working on getting a great image. You can always borrow one from our gallery in the meantime. And really this image is, is there to help add context to the page, to help add flavor. So important to find an image there that's, that's a nice way of helping to situate your donors when they get to this page an image that will evoke for them the work that you do or the community that you serve and and really help uh, set the, the look and feel really for the donor when they arrive on the page. You also have the option to add a filter color above that background image. So if it's a dark image or a really bright image, you have the opportunity to lighten it up or darken it to make sure that logo really stands up, stands out on top of it. So you can play around with this color picker here that you see clicking different colors and you'll see these edits live on the screen as you're making them. So you can play around with what color really works. You can play around with the strength of the filter. You can have very high opacity, very low opacity. Again, by sliding that little um, dot up and down on that strength, you can see exactly the changes it's making to your page. So really easy way to on screen edit and come to a design that you really feel comfortable with, you really feel represents your brand. And the last thing here on the theme color, uh, the last thing on the theme is the ability to set the theme color for your page. So that's this blue uh, that you're seeing here on these metrics, as well as that big donate button. You can choose what color that is, and that's a color you'll see carried throughout the rest of the page. So this is a great opportunity to choose a color that is really important to your brand, maybe a color that's important within your logo, and it will really carry through the rest of the page. Again, helping to keep that look and feel for the donor and the visitor that this is your organization that they are reading about, learning about, supporting. So moving down the page, we get into uh, really the meat of the page, which is the ability to tell your story. This is where you have a large dynamic section uh, to tell a story about your organization, about the work that you do, the impact that you have, maybe what it is you're raising funds for, for the Give Back Tahoe giving season. So in this section, you've got lots of formatting options through an inline editor. So you can add headers, bullets, uh, numbering, links, videos, photos, emojis, whatever it is to help make this section dynamic. Donors, visitors, anyone doesn't want to look at a long wall of text. It's hard to really process that. Very few people take the time to really sit and read through it. So by bolding certain things and adding images or videos in certain places, you can help really make sure that the most important information in this, the key information, really stands out to the donor helping to convince them to make that gift that they're considering making 
or make a larger gift, maybe share your campaign, whatever it might be. And I'll also take a moment to note that in this section as well, you do have access to an additional custom tab. So you'll have your main story section where you can share the key, the most important information about your work and why donors should support, but you always have access to that custom tab if you do have additional information that you wanna share, like perhaps um, uh, events that you have upcoming, uh, information on uh, board members or whatever it might be that's important for you to share, but you don't wanna distract away from this key message of why should you give to our organization, you can add a custom tab with that information as well. Moving further down this page, you have the option to add media and integrate social media to really important ways to make your page more dynamic. So first you'll have access to a media gallery. You can add additional photos. As I mentioned, you can always add any photos and videos right into the description above so that it's in context of the text associated with it. But you might decide that you have really great additional images that you want to uh, have available for donors to see. You can add uh, images from Facebook, Instagram, your computer. Again, lots of different places you can upload images right to that media gallery. Or you can also uh, connect your Instagram account directly so that whenever you add a new photo to your Instagram account, it will automatically update on your page. Really great way to make sure that your page is staying dynamic and up to date with fresh new content and imagery without having to come back and edit your page on a regular basis because every time you post on Instagram, that new image will automatically populate here. And uh, finally, you will have the opportunity to optimize your social share settings for your page. So, when you share the link to your donation page on Facebook, there's always a look, an image as well as text associated with that link that get pre-populated for you as a part of your share. Same with anyone else who might share your link. You have the ability through your settings page to optimize that. We'll pre-populate it with certain information but you can really make sure that whenever your link is shared on social media, it's really telling the most powerful call to action for any donors seeing it there. And I will point out, I believe later on, where you can actually access that directly. So we've gone through the majority of the items that you'll see live on your page to edit. Now we're jumping more into the administrative dashboard to show you where you can access some important things like, of course, your donations report. Any administrator for your organization will receive an email notification whenever a donation is made. You can turn that off in your user profile settings if you'd like, but by default, admins will receive that notification. And you can also at any time log into your account, click on that dollar sign icon and access your donations report in real time. By default, the report will filter to the last 30 days, but you can always extend the range if you'd like, filter by page type. You'll see on screen key pieces of information about any donations, but you can always click on uh, the link to download this range. That will download the full detailed report for you with all uh, information associated with any of those donations. So you'll have access to that throughout your campaign and after your campaign uh, to always access that all important donor information. Offline gifts are another thing that you can access through this, um, through this donation screen, this donations report. You'll see uh, a little plus sign with the text, add an offline donation. You can add an offline donation right to your organization's page whether somebody gives you a gift via check or cash right directly to your organization. This will count for your organization's totals on your page, um, but will not count for leaderboard totals for the Give Back Tahoe giving season. Donor experience is another tool that you can access through that donation screen. 
And this is where you as a nonprofit have the opportunity to drive what that donation process looks like for your donors when they come to make their gift. Of course, there is an existing structure that is optimized for conversion, optimized to work great on mobile and desktop. But within that structure, you have the ability to make some key decisions, like selecting what donor data you collect. For example, is it really critical for you as an organization to collect the phone number of the donors that are making their gift? If so, you have the option to toggle phone number on, and when donors go to make their gift, they will be prompted to leave their phone number. You've got a couple of other uh, key demographic fields that you can choose to collect. You can also set custom donation suggestions. So um, it's always important to help reinforce for the donor the tangible impact of your gift. So for example, $25 might buy a week's worth of food for an animal in your shelter, or $100 might support one training session for kids in the community. Whatever it might be that's relevant and impactful as it relates to your mission, your donation suggestions are an opportunity to continue that, uh, that story that you've been telling donors from your email, right on your donation page, all the way through the donation levels that they'll see when they are actually making their donation to your organization. So you can choose what these donation levels are, as well as adding explanatory text to help the donor visualize the impact of their gift at that level. You can also preview the donation experience. You'll see right through that view checkout button, you'll have the option to walk through the donation process as a donor would see it. So this is a really helpful tool as we get closer to uh, Give Back Tahoe giving season, really important to take the time to preview that experience so that you know exactly what it's gonna look like for your donors. If your board member is asking what it's gonna look like, you can help them see the same thing. That way you can feel really confident in knowing exactly what that process looks like for your donors. And finally, you have the option to customize the post checkout experience. So that thank you page. When a donor makes their donation to your organization, the thing that they will immediately see on screen is a thank you page that you have the opportunity to build. So just like we saw on that main organization page, you've got an inline editor. You can add video right here to this section as well. Uh, or just text and photos, again, to, to really thank your donors in a meaningful way right on screen, right when they've completed that gift. And you can preview what that looks like as well. Matching grants are another tool that you have access to right through that donations screen on the left-hand side of your dashboard. Uh, Ashley talked about the concept of matching grants a little bit earlier, um, and it's really uh, an exciting opportunity to add into your campaign, just the same way that the Give Back Tahoe giving season and the challenge grants that they offer throughout add urgency and excitement to your campaign for your donors. You can have your own matching grant that you can add to your campaign uh, to add just an extra layer of all of that. So on the Mighty Cause platform, you have the ability to add a matching grant display on your page. Now, the match, the matching grant doesn't need to be paid through the platform. Mighty Cause is not interacting with your matching donor. That's your relationship to manage. But once you have secured that matching grant, and we'll talk more in an upcoming webinar that we have, uh, some more detail on how to really secure that match and some opportunities there. But once you've secured that match, you will have the opportunity to put that on your page, display that on your page. If you want to recognize the donor's name, you can do that. Uh, you can include the amount of the matching grant that they've given. And then you'll see a really fun icon right on your page as well as um, a countdown on your page showing donors visible on the page, how much is left of that match, how much time is left. Again, really adding that extra sense of urgency for the donor to make their gift because they see the potential for that bigger impact that they can really have with their gift. 
Volunteer management. This is, of course, a key piece to give back Tahoe as a year round tool for organizations. And so this is something that you can access, as I mentioned earlier, through the megaphone icon on your dashboard, through what we call the calls to action tool. You will have the ability as an organization to post any volunteer opportunities that you have available for your organization. You can enter key pieces of information like you see here, the title, the start date, the end date, the address, a contact for that specific volunteer opportunity, how many positions are available. You can also add additional information about the opportunity to help really let, don't, let supporters understand what's required of them, what's the value of this volunteer opportunity, whatever additional information might be helpful, you can add that as well as uh, if you have certain qualifications that need to be met, must be minimum of 18, must have a driver's license, whatever it might be, if there are specific qualifications, you can include those in the opportunity that you post. And you also have the ability to upload any documents. For example, if a volunteer is going to need to print and sign a release form before they can participate in this volunteer opportunity, you can include that release form right in this posting for this volunteer opportunity right on the platform. So you as a nonprofit administrator have access to post multiple volunteer opportunities for your organization directly on your page. You'll also have the ability to access the information, download the information, for any individual that actually signs up for one of these volunteer opportunities right through your page. And I'll show you in a moment what it looks like for those supporters to sign up, but you will have access directly to see who has signed up, how many people have signed up for each of these opportunities. You can download their contact information or you can send them an email right through the tool to remind them or share specific information with them about the upcoming volunteer opportunity that they've signed up for. So here on this screen, you'll see what it looks like to an individual coming to your page to see any volunteer opportunities that you have available. If you have any volunteer opportunities available, right up at the very top of the page, you'll see that be a volunteer call to action with that button to see opportunities. Clicking on that will take them to this detailed table which shares information about the volunteer opportunity key pieces of information right on the screen, and then clicking on the label here, volunteer data assistant, clicking on that will pull up additional information that you've added, as well as uh, any documents that you've added, and it will give them the opportunity to click on a button and register right there through that tool. So really easy streamlined process for your supporters to sign up for volunteer opportunities. And once they do sign up, they will receive a notification that they've signed up for a volunteer opportunity. And they'll receive another reminder as the volunteer opportunity gets close uh, that they um, have signed up for an event and it's coming up shortly. So that a really uh, an easy way for your individual volunteers uh, to receive automated updates about their uh, engagement. And then of course, as I mentioned, any additional communications that you want to share with these volunteers, more information that you want to give them, a change in plans, whatever it might be, you can always access their information and email them directly. So the last item down on your dashboard is, of course, the settings tool. This is where you can add and remove administrators, as I mentioned. You can update the legal address for your organization if, for example, you've changed addresses. What we have on file will be what's on file with the IRS database. But if that is changing or you've gone, gone through that process with the IRS, you can submit that on the platform as well. You can also customize the social share experience, as I mentioned earlier, as well as the end of the URL for your organization's page in particular. So we've covered a lot of the basics of how to on the platform. 
everything you can access through your dashboard, the key things that you'll want to update right on your profile page before you share, and then all of those back-end tools that you have access to to really manage the overall experience, whether it's volunteers, matching grants, donations, all that great information. So now we're going to take a couple minutes to focus on Give Back Tahoe campaign strategy. And we'll just cover this briefly during today's training. And as I mentioned, there is another training coming up in just a few weeks in which we'll dig a little bit deeper into the strategy side of things, both matching grant strategy, as I mentioned, as well as uh, something that Ashley referenced earlier, which is peer-to-peer -peer fundraising. Uh, so we'll, we'll touch on those key topics a little bit today and then dig in a little bit deeper in our next training to more campaign strategy. So the first and most important piece to keep in mind for your strategy is use resources that are available to you. So of course, we've got today's training here to help everybody get up to speed. There's another training coming up in a few weeks and then one final training that the Tahoe Truckee Community Foundation will be giving. So visiting the nonprofit toolkit on givebacktahoe.org will allow you to see and sign up for these trainings as well as all kinds of other great resources to help jumpstart your campaign. Whether it's articles uh, from Mighty Cause on how to build your page, how to manage volunteers, or uh, additional information, um, whether it's your checklist um, or other key campaign resources, all of that will be accessed right through that toolkit. So make sure you take time to uh, review that in detail to make sure you're not wasting time reinventing the wheel on resources that are already prepared for you. So next, we'll talk a little bit today, uh, as I mentioned, about peer-to-peer -peer fundraising and, and activating ambassadors on behalf of your cause. So we'll get into this more in the next training but one of the key things that you can do to really make your giving day, giving event campaign successful is to find and identify ambassadors for your organization. And there's all different kinds of ways that individuals or groups can be an ambassador for your cause, whether they are helping to spread the word, posting about your organization on social media, sharing your campaign page in an email with their friends and family, uh, showing up uh, and helping out at an event that you might be running, or one of the key ways that they can support you on this platform is by creating a peer-to-peer -peer fundraiser on behalf of your organization. So, for example, your board of directors or even a specific board member can start their own fundraising page to support your nonprofit right through the platform. And that gives them their own unique page, which allows them to tell their personal story. Why are they involved with your cause? Why do they love what you do? And then that personal story, that personal page, they can then share with their family and friends, their network, to accept donations directly through that page. And any funds they raise will be uh, will go directly to your organization. So it's just a really great way to kind of tap into that social side of giving and uh, allow your organization to expand their network, find new people, and find new people that are really going to be interested in making a gift because their friend or their coworker or their family member has a personal connection and they want to support that individual along with the organization. So this is a really powerful tool to expand your network, reach new donors, and also uh, kind of take an additional step with some of these key supporters that have maybe given to your organization many years in a row, maybe they volunteered, maybe they're a board member, uh, asking them to fundraise on your behalf is a really great stewardship tool to kind of keep progressing the relationship that you have with that individual. So more on that in our next training, but really take time to think through who are these ambassadors that can support your campaign in all these different kinds of ways and start identifying some of the key actions uh, that you want to ask of these ambassadors to really help you be successful. In small, small nonprofits in particular, you may not have a huge development staff, so relying on as many people as you can to really help you spread the word is going to lead to an overall more successful campaign. 
of course, aside from any of the success that you're able to have through those ambassadors, your organization will want to have your own strategy in place for how you will spread the word for the campaign. It's important that you use all the channels that you have access to. Email, of course, is a number one channel. But aside from that, you have social media, you have your website, you have any newsletters you send out, whether those are e-newsletters or physical newsletters. Think about all the different channels that you have to communicate with donors and think about what channels have tended to really drive engagement with your donors. Uh, email is often a very helpful, very critical one when it comes to converting donations, but each organization is a little different in terms of how and where their donors and supporters like to hear from them, like to communicate with them. It's important to think about any opportunities that you might have to segment your communications. So instead of sending one email to everyone you have in your entire contact list, think about different groups within that contact list that might have a unique experience with you. So sending a particular email to people that have maybe already made a gift to your organization this year. You might wanna communicate with them just a little differently than you would somebody that has never made a gift to your organization before, but you're hoping this campaign will be a great opportunity to change that. Similarly, uh, really committed people like volunteers or maybe recurring donors that have supported your organization in the past, you might wanna to speak to them a little bit differently by acknowledging all of that past previous support that they've given to your organization before you ask them to do more, make a donation, whatever it might be. So think about uh, what key groups you might have to, um, to really segment. And it doesn't have to be a lot, maybe just a few, two or three different segments, create two or three different emails, and just slight adjustments in wording and really recognizing their involvement with your organization along with your ask for their donation to the giving season. Always helpful to plan and schedule in advance when you can. Uh, as we get to the end of November and throughout December, it's a really busy time of year for everyone. Lots going on, the holiday season kicking off. Uh, so planning these out in advance will allow you, other members of your team, uh, to review your plans. Make sure you've got enough emails scheduled. Somebody's helped double check all the subject lines and that all the buttons have the right links going to them. So you can really feel confident that by the time the giving season kicks off, you know your communication strategy is really in place to help you be successful. It's always important in every communication, whether it's an email on your website, on social media, always make sure that you have a very clear call to action with a link back to your donation page. A really powerful post on social media without any link or ask to donate is not going to generate a donation for you because donors really need that ability to just click and continue their process right away. So make sure in whatever communications you're using, you've got a really obvious call to action, donate, give now, share, whatever it might be, and always include the link that you want those donors to click on to take action. And with that, we've covered, focused uh, primarily on, of course, how-tos on the platform, a few key details to keep in mind when it comes to strategy. As I mentioned, our next webinar will dig deeper into giving event strategy. And with that, I will open up uh, the opportunity for uh, questions, and I'll start going through some of the questions that we've gotten so far. Uh, first question here, is this webinar being recorded? The answer is yes, this webinar is being recorded. So you will have access on the givebacktahoe.org site to uh, watch this later on or share with uh, coworkers, colleagues, whatever it might be. All right. Uh, one more question here about um, where, what I was showing here on the webinar and how you'll find that on your page. 
when you are logged in as an administrator, when you've been approved to participate in this event and you have access to your organization's page, when you log in, you should see in the upper right hand corner of the page, a user menu. When you hover over that user menu, click on your organization's name with a dashboard and that's going to open up your organization's dashboard and then you should see down the left hand side all of the key icons that we went over in terms of your profile your donations all of that information you'll see in different icons down the left hand side of your dashboard and so clicking on each of those icons will open up each of those pages for you A uh, question here on setting up a call to action or setting up a volunteer opportunity. Uh, what is the link we should use to access our site on Mighty Cause? So um, if this question is what is the URL for your page, this is going to be the same uh, page that you send donors to for the uh, Give Back Tahoe giving season, uh, whether you're sending it to them to make a donation during that giving season or year round to uh, send them to find volunteer opportunities that you have available, you will see the URL right in the URL bar on the page that you are. You can copy and paste that. It will start with givebacktahoe.org, but then have a specific identifier at the end that is tied to your organization in particular. And as I mentioned, in your settings page, you will have the ability to um, to customize the end of that URL so that if you want to change uh, the end of that link, again, that's the same link that you'll be sharing whenever you're sending supporters to this page. All right, and with that, it looks like we have uh, all of the questions uh, that have come in so far. If you do have any other questions, please feel free, as I mentioned, uh, to send them to support at mightycause.com and we will be happy to uh, help you through and good luck with the giving season and we'll catch up with you on our next training. Thanks everyone and thanks Ashley.